Almost everyone who has ever tried to lose weight has asked the same question, why am I not losing weight, even though I am eating healthy and exercising? Hi, I am Dr. Amit Goswami, a laparoscopic and bariatric surgeon with over two decades of experience. And today, we will talk about a crucial topic, the signs of weight loss when diet and exercise work and when they don't. Before we start, please like, share and subscribe. Your one click helps spread genuine science-based health education to thousands of people. Lifestyle, the first line of defense. The truth is the most people diet and exercise are always the first step. Healthy eating, regular physical activity, good sleep, and stress control are the foundation of long-term health. If your BMI is under 30 and you don't have any major obesity-related health problems, lifestyle interventions can often bring excellent results. The key is consistency, not perfection. Choose whole unprocessed foods. Stay active at least 150 minutes per week. Get seven to eight hours of sleep. Avoid extreme diets, focus on balance, not deprivation. But what if you are doing all this and the weighing scale skill doesn't show results? The weight loss plateau. Let's talk about the most frustrating part, the plateau. When you start dieting or exercising, you lose water and fat initially. But after a few months, your metabolism adapts and your body burns fewer calories to protect itself. This is called metabolic adaptations or the set point effect. Your body fights to maintain its current weight. So if you have hit a plateau after months of effort, don't get disheartened. It's not failure, it's biology. At this stage, small changes like increasing protein intake, varying working intensity, or improving sleep quality, can make a big difference. When lifestyle alone isn't enough, sometimes lifestyle alone may not be enough and there that is not your fault. If your BMI is above 32 to 35 or if you have conditions like diabetes, hypertension, fatty liver or sleep apnea, your body may have crossed a biological threshold where metabolism becomes resistant to lifestyle efforts. At this point, medical evaluation is essential. Your doctor might suggest structured weight management programs, metabolic medications, or in some cases, bariatric or weight loss surgery. These aren't shortcuts. They are scientific tools that help reset your body's metabolism and make lifestyle changes more effective for long term. Setting realistic, sustainable goals. Always remember, the goal isn't repeat weight loss, it's sustainable, meaningful improvement in health. Even a 5 to 10% weight reduction can significantly lower your risk of diabetes, heart disease, and joint pain. So don't compare your journey to anyone else. Focus on progress, not perfection. We tend to set a higher goal and not achieving them leads to disappointments. Break down your longer term goals to smaller achievements because every step, every small ones move you towards better health. So when is diet and exercise is enough? When there is giving you progress, energy and confidence. When they are not, that's when it's time to seek medical help, not blame yourself. If this video helped you understand your weight loss journey better, Please like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps us reach more people who need real, evidence-based answers. Remember, true health transformation starts with your own effort, but it lasts when you understand your body. Begin your journey today, one step at a time.